Uh, starting with the Iraq a resistance group has promised to shoot down any American hostile airplane and that following U.S. airstrikes inside Iraq and Syria. A faction operating under Iraqi Popular Mobilization Unit says its war with the U.S. will have no limits from now on. The group says its first step would be targeting hostile aircraft flying over Iraq. The U.S. Defense Department says its early morning strikes at operational and weapons storage facilities at a location in Iraq and two others in Syria. The air raids are in response to attacks on U.S. interests in Iraq. According to the Pentagon, the strikes have been directed by President Joe Biden. These are the second such attacks under the Biden administration. They come amid growing calls in Iraq with the withdrawal of U.S.-led foreign forces from the country. Okay, from Sydney, I'm joined by Tim Anderson, director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies. Let's see what Tim thinks about uh, these attacks that are still going on. We had pres former President Trump, and we know his policies regarding Iraq. Now we have a new administration of the White House, and uh, the problem is still there. Yes, indeed. 18 years after the aggression on Iraq and 10 years after the dirty war began on Syria, we have the U.S. bombing both Iraq and Syria. And whatever they say about Iran-backed groups, it doesn't matter. They are militia. They are people who are supporting the Syrian and the Iraqi government. They are embedded with the Syrian and the Iraqi government. And the U.S. cannot accept that. The U.S. is continuing to carry out these wars of aggression against the two countries. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, uh, Tim, what would be best uh, for Iraqi uh, government and people to do? Because we had this parliament uh, uh, ratification regarding the departure of all uh, foreign forces, especially U.S. forces from Iraq, but it hasn't happened. So what do you think the uh, future is holding for Iraq in terms of foreign forces presence? Yes, the, uh, indeed, the Iraqi parliament passed a unanimous resolution, a historic unanimous resolution, 18 months ago, after former President Trump uh, murdered uh, General Qasem Soleimani. And uh, the government, it seems, of Iraq has been not as decisive as the parliament was at that time. So there is still a question of the Iraqi body politic, let's say, um, developing its political will to demand the expulsion of the North Americans. But I think that the, the Iraqi self-defense militia, the ones that saved Iraq from Daesh, have decided that they will take matters into their own hands because there is no right to self-defense by an occupying power that is unwanted has been asked to leave the country. It's ridiculous for the, US to, for the US to carry on making these empty arguments that they have some sort of right to self-defense. They weren't invited into Syria. Mm -hmm. Their invitation in Iraq has run out long ago and they should leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much for your comments. Tim Anderson, Director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies in Sydney.